everyone. Um, I am doing mixes today. So I have joined um, Didi Hernandez's Sugar Skull Swap. And um, I think I've got some pictures here of what I'm going to go by. <clears throat> I think I'm going to make two mixes. Just because I couldn't decide on which one I wanted to use. <laughs> um, so let's just jump right to it. Um, so the first one I'm going to make is more of a pink and, let's say black. Um, so I've got some, these are kind of different hexes and I'm not sure exactly where I got them from. I think I got them in a swap, but they're kind of, they're pink, but they're kind of see-through. So we're going to add some of those. some of these, uh, I'm going to call them like a soft pink. Let's see. And then I've got some of these bright pink ones. Got some of these neon pink, the one MMs from Jen's Mail World. And I've got some of kind of these hot pink hearts, the wee tiny ones. got some of these even softer ones. I want this to have a whole whack, whole whack, a whole whack of different um, types of purple, or not purple, pink. See, I'm already off track. Pink to them. And then I'm going to add some of these black hexes. I'm going to add some of these circles, the um, hollowed out circles in black. And I'm going to add some of these really, really mm. tiny black. in it. But I think I want to add a little bit of this hollow black to it. So I think it's going to add a nice sparkle to it. I really like the way that's turning out. That's really pretty. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of this silver hollow to it as well. Just a little bit. Just because I think I want it to have a little bit more pop than that. Not a lot, just a little. Ah, uh, there we go. That really... That was just enough to make it pop. I don't want it to be metallic, but I want it to have a little bit of pop to it. So I think that's going to be mix number one. Isn't that pretty? I love how that turned out. Awesome. Okay, so let me get this bagged up, and I'll be back to do mix number two. Yes. I'm back. 
So I've got the first one bagged up. I'll give you a look in the bag there and see what it looks like. So that's the first one. The second one I'm going to do is going to be on these blue ones that I've got here. And um, those ones I'm going to do, a, I'm, going to, I'm going to try to be a little bit different on that one. Um, because they've got flowers and that kind of stuff in it, I'm going to start with some of the uh, neon red flowers. Some of these uh, rainbow iridescent daisies from Suki Nail Creations. And there's some green in there, so I'm going to add some of these um, hollowed. They're kind of like a green, but they pop different colors stars. some of this neon green tinsel. I'm going to add some of this Georgia peach that I got from Nail Oracle. these um, different hearts. It's an orange, it, different hearts. They're, they're the same heart. <laughs> uh, it's been one of those mornings. Um, they're orange, that peachy orange color, but they're going to have, um, they pop in different like champagne colors. So we're going to add some of those. Then I want to add some teals and blues to this because we're going to want to bring out the teals and blues as well. Some yellows. This is the Pearl Soft Yellow from Jen's Nail World. Add some of those in there. Then I have some of these yellow butterflies I just got from Suki Unique Nail Creations, um, and they again kind of pop in that champagne. And then I have the peach ones as well, so we're going to add a little bit of both of those. And then I have these ones in the green as well, these green champagne butterflies. So I'm going to add some of those. I fell in love with these butterflies when Cheryl um, did her video on them. And I'm going to add some of these rainbow, I'm going to call them rainbow blue stars, aqua stars. Add some more blue to it. I'm primarily going from this picture and this picture here. Sorry. Um, for the blues, the pinks, the yellows, the oranges kind of all go. So I kind of like that. There's a little bit of white, and I couldn't decide which white I was going to use, but I think I'm going to use this white iris that kind of pops in the same. But maybe I should use 
Isn't that bad? Now I can't decide what I want to use. <laughs> um, maybe it needs... Maybe it needs some stark white in it that's not got a... Um, an iridescent to it. So I'm going to add some stark white to it. Maybe it needs a little bit of that to pop. So then I'm going to add a touch of the, the small black hexes again. Just to make it pop. Okay, so let's see what we got here. showing me a lot of the blue. So I do think I need to add more blue. So I'm going to add some of this blue in. This is a Recollections um, Chunky Glitter in the Peacock Mix. So some blue. And then I'm going to add um, this lapis one in the blue. have some of these blue dots. Add some of those too. I'm going to give it a mix here before I add anything else. Let's see what we come up with here. Hmm. Not bad, but I still would like to see more blue in that. So, let's grab my book. Book of extras. Let's see what I've got in here for blue. I'm going to add some of these blue clouds. I think maybe I need some more that blues and then I'm going to add a little bit of this blue uh, tinsel in holographic and see if maybe that will pop some more blue for me. This turned out. That turned out beautiful. And there's the picture that it goes with. Just this one here. I really like the way that that turned out. Turned out awesome. With the little orangey flowers he's got and yellow flowers he's got in his eyes, I think that just really made that kind of pop. I think it turned out awesome. So those are my two mixes for BB's Sugar Skull, Sugar Skull Swap. Um, and I will get them named and get them out to her so that she knows they're coming. But I really like this one. This one I think turned out awesome. So that's it. I do have another one, another video coming up today that I will um, I will do after this. And um, that's it for now. I hope everybody likes the mixes, and uh, we'll see you again soon.
Bye.